Hello everybody, this is Joe from Joe Rocks Coronado and today I'm going to show you how I did this giant seashell using puffy paint. And puffy paint is basically a fabric paint that has, a, it's really thick so it has three dimensional look to it and it's a great way to put texture on rocks. That's just my signature and the date when I finish this thing. So. I've already got a significant number of dots already put here. As you can see, these are pretty big sized dots, but but the rock itself is huge. Uh, this rock is about eight or nine inches across, something like that. So it's, it's a pretty good sized rock. And on the right, you can see I have all my colors lined up. And that was so that I, I, I kind of wanted to know ahead of time what order I was going to go in. And I've got various types of puffy paint. Some of it has sparkle in it or glitter and some of it is glow in the dark. So this this rock looks really cool under very different circumstances. You know you turn the lights off or you put it in the sun and you see all the sparkling and stuff like that. So and then uh, as you can see I have a dotting tool and I'm just gonna start from the top and I'm just gonna drag this all the way through my line of dots trying to be careful to keep it right more or less in the center of those that line of dots one person saw this and said oh you're ruining the design yeah I can see that it did look kinda cool with just having the dots there um, but I think when you see the final effect I think it's worth it now I'm after I finish this section of the video, I go back in and I add more detail. I actually do the same technique again, lower down on the rock uh, near the wide edge there, another line of dots, and I, and I do the same dragging technique using some slightly different colors that will complement what I already have here. The thing with puffy paint is you got to let it dry for a while. You have to, I, I let this dry for about two days after I did this initial technique. And then I added in the uh, the rest of the detail. Puffy paint is so great for adding texture; it makes it look re and and the colors don't fade um, much at all. That I've in my experience, they stay really bright even if you leave the rock out in the sun, like I have with some of my, some of my rocks that I make for garden art. Um, they tend to stay really bright. Um, they're pretty much waterproof. Um, they're they're great. So you can see here some of the other detail I added in, and this is also I put a I put uh, put a sealer coat on this. So you're seeing basically what here is the final product, and you can see all that detail, all the glitter, all the paint that I've dragged out, and then gone back in and added some individual dots um, just to kind of complete the design. And here it is sitting on a plate stand so that you can see it on full display in its glory. And that's Painting with Puffy Paint. Thanks for watching.